Laureate Glass is a family-run glass studio situated in Sandown on the Isle of Wight. Martin Evans, his wife, and his two sons work there. He has another daughter who lives in America running her own glass studio, the techniques of which she learnt from her father. Glass is made up from different materials, including sand, soda and lime, and it's melted in a furnace at 1300 degrees Celsius. Glass is gathered out of the furnace by dipping heated irons into the malted glass and turning. It is the consistency of golden syrup, and as a result, the glass sticks to the metal and can be taken from the furnace. The hot glass is then dipped into different colours of powdered glass. Crystals of glass can also be used within the glass making process. These cause the glass to have bigger blotches of colour on the surface. Once the colours have been added, the hot glass is then returned into the furnace, or the glory hole. This melts the colours into the glass. The beautiful colours are now part of the piece. We also use 23 karat gold and sterling silver leaf to achieve the designs in our glass. The ball of glass can then be shaped using wet pads of newspaper. This is one of the only things that can be used to touch the glass, as it doesn't mark the surface. Cherry wood and metal tools are also used to shape the glass and to put more detail into it. Hollow vessels are blown into the shape by blowing air down the hollow iron that gathered the glass and creating an air bubble. The glass needs constant reheating in the glory hole as it hardens very quickly, which stops you from being able to shape it. When the piece is finished, it's cooled overnight in the annealing oven to relieve any stress in the glass and prevent it from cracking. Even though this is cooler than the furnace, it can still reach temperatures of over 500 degrees Celsius. When the glass is cooled, it can be ground and polished to finish off everything. There are three different sanders that are used to do this part of the process. As well as doing glass demonstrations to the general public, Glory Art Glass hold presentation evenings for schools, both from the island and from the mainland. This broadens the children's knowledge, gives them something that they may not see every day, and hopefully an experience that they can remember and enjoy. As an artist, I feel privileged to work such a vibrant and exciting material, using fire, wind and water to produce the work which you can see in the gallery, all of which we make here at Glory Art Glass Studio.